Hey guys, today we are going to be attempting to do something a little bit unusual. We are going to try to build fan blades out of cardboard. Now this idea came to my mind recently when I was going through some old files that I had in a backup from I think 5-10 years ago of some videos that I recorded and one of the videos that I found was this one. It was a little homemade fan that I built out of nothing but cardboard and a little electric motor and I wanted to recreate that using a full-scale fan and a larger blade set of course still out of cardboard so this is what this video is going to be about I'm honestly not sure if this will turn out to be a successful project or not but we'll see what happens so let's get right into it so for the first prototype I'm going to make a simple two-wing blade set just like the homemade fan so it would look like a little slot shaped blade set that will fit onto the shaft and hopefully move some air. And if that turns out well, I'll go ahead and <laughs> try to make different configurations, perhaps in a future video. So let's see how this one turns out. All right, so here's our preliminary sketch of the blades that I'll cut out. So what we got here is a rectangular blade set, 12 inches long by four inches wide. And it's a single, single ply corrugated cardboard sheet. Got the cross there for the motor shaft to go and a uh, little 1.5 inch slot there that'll cut out and make these edges fold up so that'll give the blade some pitch and hopefully move some air. <laughs> it's gonna look so weird on the fan but also kind of excited to see what it'll look like so let's cut it out. Okay, so our first prototype is complete, I think. So here's what we have. I've got these um, supports that I added to make sure the blades won't lose pitch because otherwise this would just flatten out when the fan spins up. So these triangular supports will keep the blades hopefully in pitch like that. That's some serious amount of pitch. So we're gonna mount this onto the fan. I'm going to see if I can maybe just press the pin on the shaft into the cardboard and that might make it stay. I'm not too sure yet, so let's see if I can get this fitted. And here it is, fitted onto the fan. And that is one weird looking blade set, that's for sure. And I had to take the grills off because the blades, the 12 inch blades that I made, don't fit in the 12 inch fan grill. And I kind of forgot to take into account that these blades are much wider than a typical um, rounded kind of blade. So I had to um, take the grills off. I'll probably go ahead and trim the corners off a little bit and make it fit but for now this is what we have I haven't tried it yet and I'm going to do it on camera of course so here's our mounting system for the grill had to be a little bit creative so I just let the pin on the shaft kind of sink into the cardboard and I put two rubber grommets in front of it and just put the spinner nut back on so that way we have a securely mounted fan blade Hopefully it's well balanced. I just saw it kind of, you know, that's not a good sign, but well, we don't know until we try it out. So let's go in and plug this in. I'm kind of <laughs> both terrified and excited to see what's going to happen. Okay, so I got the fan plugged in. We're going to start it off on low speed, just in case it decides to shred itself apart. Um, I noticed the oscillation is on, so I'll go ahead and shut that off. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Hey, it's, it's working and that's pretty quiet and it's moving some air too oh <laughs> I was about to reach for the grill to see if it was shaking but I realized no the grills are not on if I did reach for it that probably would hurt it doesn't look like it's shaking a whole lot I reach for the back see if it's you know what that is actually really smooth I think part of it's because the cardboard is so lightweight. 
that even though it's slightly off balance, it's not really going to affect the fan. Dang, that's cool. It's moving some air too. Let's check out the blade pitch. <laughs> that's really uh, not in alignment at all, but you can get an idea. It's, it's about that thick. It looks like the grommet system is holding its holding the blades really well. Okay, so I think I'm ready to turn it up to medium now. Oh. Nice, it hasn't blown up yet. It's got a very interesting sound. The motor's silent. And you're hearing this it's, it sounds almost like a like a windstorm. That really choppy kind of sound. It's not really a white noise, but it's hard to describe. You can probably hear it. Kind of a choppy wind sound. Very interesting. Okay, so I think I'm ready to turn it up to high now. Oh my gosh. Hey! But it works! <laughs> It's not blowing up. So it's definitely not as powerful as the original blades, but it's still moving a surprising amount of air. That little triangular reinforcement piece that I put in there, that really does help. All right, let's go in and stop it. The spin down is pretty quick, and that's understandable as these blades are very lightweight and all of the air resistance caused by the very steep blade pitch, it does drag the fan blades to a stop relatively quickly. Let's do a start up directly to high, see what it does. Oh yeah, that's really quick. And now with the grills back on, I trimmed off a little bit off the edges to Make sure it wouldn't hit, probably a quarter or half an inch off each edge. A little bit off the corners too, just to be safe, but there's plenty of clearance now, so there shouldn't be any accidents. Hopefully not. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the same thing. Start it off on low. <laughs> ah, this is such an interesting experiment, but it works quite well. To a point where if these blades broke for whatever reason, I wouldn't mind using these cardboard DIY blades that I made in like five minutes. It surprisingly does move some air. It's not as quiet or effective as the plastic blades, but it's not bad. Medium. Oh. That button needs some work. It doesn't really uh, spring down very well. In this shot, it almost looks like it's got one of those older amber co colored blades from those Lasco fans. <laughs> Alright, full power. Oh. Just sounds like it's going to blow up. Perfectly functioning fan. Wow. All right, let's go and stop it. Instant silence the moment you press the button. <laughs> Well, that concludes this video of making this weird cardboard blade set. As you can see, the fan is now back with the original blades. And because this turned out to be a pretty successful project, what I might do in the future is try out different blade count, um, different blade shape and sizes on different fans to see how it'll turn out. It'll be kind of an interesting series, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'm not sure when the next one will be, but 
I'll definitely make another one someday. <laughs> and that's it for this one, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!